All right, Coach, coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports brings us to Southern California and Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Minnesota Vikings and the Los Angeles Chargers. It's the final three weeks of the season. Still plenty to play for here as we're underway in week 15. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Let's go! The Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Here's Dalvin Cook, third year back from Florida State. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They go play action. Cousins. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Throwing. Cousins. Throw left side on target to Thielen. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Now the old pass completion for no gain, not something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most offensive coordinators don't have that on their play sheet, so they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But right now with what they're telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field, sometimes the fighting for extra yardage doesn't come as a result. Kiss him goodbye, Travis Benjamin! And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Travis Benjamin with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Chargers have taken a first quarter lead. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So after surrendering the punt return for a score, let's see what they can do in turn on this kickoff. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. You know, in our research packet this week, prepping for the game, so many articles from the local beat writer about the offensive struggles of this team and what will they do this offseason? What do you think they'll do? Well, number one, they'll turn to their self-scouting report. And every team that's any good does this. They have outside groups. Check out their team, scout them, and tell you who can play, who can't play, and reasons why. Some of it may just be health. They have to get some guys healthy and back out on the field. But overall, evaluate this squad and make the changes that you need to. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Open man is stealing. It's complete. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. Cousins the thrower. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack 
is a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Throwing again on second down. Cousins. Wide open receiver complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. To the air again, it's Cousins. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Joey Bosa in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now Cousins. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown, Vikings! Adam Thielen, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Vikings are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Extra point up and good by Bailey. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Melvin Gordon, the two-time Pro Bowler. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. It's Xavier Rhodes there in on the stop. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second and nine, Rivers. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. Call it a gain of five. And that'll bring up a third down. Now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. Watch the run, watch the run. On the counter, here's Gordon. And he's going to get the first down as he covers up after a pretty good shot there. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. First down, Rivers. He's going to wind up and air it out. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended target, and it's second down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Hey, bro, Andy. Third and long for Rivers. And the throw there going to be incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender is making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at the 20. 
They start the drive with Cook. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Joey Bosa in on the stop. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Now a second down throw for Cousins. And his pass incomplete. The intended receiver was Laquan Treadwell. Third down here. Uh, you got a young quarterback, you know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, sling, he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target, but didn't have the proper footwork to increase his accuracy. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. One more game still to get to in week 15. It comes up tomorrow night, Monday Night Football. A lot of Manning fingerprints on this one. The Colts and the Saints from New Orleans. And he's got it across the midfield strike and into Viking territory. Anthony Harris on the tackle. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. Rivers to throw it. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the former first-rounder, Trey Waynes. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And now out comes Minnesota. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Cousins. Going to let it fly for Rudolph. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away, and it's second down. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. To throw is Cousins. Looking for Thielen, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And a return across midfield and to the 46-yard line. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. Following the interception here, Rivers under a heavy rush, and down he goes. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. Check, check. Behind. Another try after the first down sack. Rivers. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Mike's by four. Mike's by four. You don't want this. Wait, 89. 
Working out of the gun, Rivers. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down, you put a lot of emphasis on because third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're going to stay on the field and start a new set of downs. Rivers on first down. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Harris. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. Joey Bosa, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. On play action, Cousins. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. Third and long for Cousins. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. First grab so far for Diggs. It's a first down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. It's now second and six at the 30-yard line. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Throw taken in by Taylor, left side. 11 yards there, first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. From the 45 on second down, Cousins is complete to Laquan Treadwell. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this week. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Desmond King picks it. And the return won't go anywhere. They'll be back deep in their own territory at the two-yard line. That's sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing a second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got to be able to forget, compartmentalize, whatever you want to call it, and move on. He hasn't been able to do so. And a loose football. And the Vikings pick up the football. And first and goal is what it will be at the six-yard line. Excellent field position. Well, he did what he's known for. He made the catch, then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player, when they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch. And Thielen's got it. Touchdown, Vikings. 
Adam Thielen with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Vikings have taken the lead. Bailey got the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Block 15! They run on first down with Jackson. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. From the 41, Rivers. Henry's got it, out on the left side. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here, we do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline <laughs> the penalty, no question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over with the penalty? I don't even know why they asked the sideline. Not at all, when you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21 yard line. Now the Minnesota offense set to take Everybody over again. Good. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here? Now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. A plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Fielded about a yard deep. Pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at their own 24. They'll start the third quarter on the ground with Gordon. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield Success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. 
This is Gordon as they go to him again. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Rivers from the gun on third down. Benjamin with it over the middle. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down at the 39. Rivers to Benjamin, good for the Charger first down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Rivers now finding Mike Williams. Williams loses the football, and the Vikings pick up the football. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. now after the fumble recovery and he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds a gain of six there on first all that practice time came to fruition on that play all those timing routes that they work on through training camp OTAs mini camp and just regular season they got it done on that one an out cut ball was delivered and picked up the completion play action now Cousins and that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. The Vikings on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. Play fake. Cousins. Pressure from his right, and he goes down hard, flat on his back. Joey Bosa in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Here's Matt Wilde now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Throwing Rivers. It's Williams on the catch. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. The Chargers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. Rivers now. And able to find Green. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. First time they've looked his way in this game, he comes through picking up the first. First and 10 at the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Shotgun, it's Rivers. Got a man over the middle, it's Williams. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Looking to throw again on second down. Rivers looking left side and he's got a man. It's Henry. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 yards there and a first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Rivers now to throw on first down. And right side, Henry's got it. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Well, from an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner route is extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is because more and more, tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some agile players who can make a play in any spot on the field. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up the second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They come out here in the eye. A field goal could get them the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. And this is complete. It's Allen. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Chargers are going to take the lead. Extra point by Badgley up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Kirk Cousins last year started all 16 games but only led the Vikes to just one fourth quarter comeback like he's trying to do here. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. From the 25 on second down, Cousins. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Open man is Thielen, it's complete. 21 yards there on third down. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one, that means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is gonna be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big time completion. And this is gonna be caught. He won the fight for the football. There he goes, right side. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Now, Bailey to tack on the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Well, we had a number of good games in the afternoon sessions, but this Sunday nighter might top them all. So we come up here on first and 10. Rivers. Throw left side complete. That's Henry. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. 
his position and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there, Williams loses the football. And the Vikings pick up the football. And the return will stop right around the 25. Well, so much for the four-minute offense. They were trying to reduce the clock, get in position to win the game, and leave no time for them to come back and catch them. And guess what? They turned the Didn't ball over. Out, yeah. yeah, I mean, they had it all set up for themselves, and they let come it get on. away. First down, here's the run with Cook. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Off the play fake, Cousins. Open man is Treadwell, and he's got it for the Minnesota touchdown. Laquan Treadwell, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Vikings capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Extra point up and good by Bailey. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and take it. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. They'll start the drive with a run by Gordon. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended receiver. But now it'll be third down. I remember a coach told me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against him offensively. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. So following the run by Gordon, here's first and ten. Now they try the right side here. Oh, what a move. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Viking territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. On second down, this is Jackson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Check, 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 check. 12, 12, 12. 61, Matchbox Lights. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On third down, this is Jackson. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. They get the first. The decision to run on third and medium winds up being a good one. 
Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Back to throw. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. Nearly an interception. If that one's picked off, it's over. So a new lease on life, so to speak. A lot of times when you're in coverage, you're so focused on the man and the coverage that sometimes the ball, if it arrives, it surprises you. That may have happened to him in that situation. He's going to let it fly. Man, it's caught inside the 10. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. It's a gain of 35. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. First and goal, Melvin Gordon. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Gardner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. A very important extra point there, up and good. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's all the way up across the 40. And down at the 42-yard line. Great return. Well, so much for the worry about how they would be after losing their lead. What a big-time return to seize the momentum back. Good starting field position for the Vikings as they have it first and 10. Cousins. The left side caught by Diggs. Give him nine there on the first down completion. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Cousins now from the 50. Now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. And picked up by the Chargers. Pass the 20. And in for the score. Are you kidding me? They return it, and they take the lead. So many times, tight games decided by one big play. And a lot of times, of course, it's the offense. Here, it's the defense coming up huge. And you know head coaches walk around locker rooms, walk around bench areas saying, guys, somebody make a play. It's a cliche, but it applies here. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And it would appear, barring some late heroics, they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Shot now for Cousins. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end. But they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still... You're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot.
So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say good night, everybody.